York on a beautiful day in Las Vegas. Welcome back everyone to CBS Sports presentation of NCAA Men's Basketball Conference Championship Weekend presented by Army National Guard. Four point lead for the Aztecs. Kevin Harlan alongside Dan Bonner. What's the second half going to look like? Well, I think that we're going to see more good defense like we saw in the first half. And uh, Utah State, they simply have to shoot the ball better, Kevin, if they're going to have any success at all. You picked out a couple clips to take us back to the first half and what you saw there. Well, with these are the guys we talked about before the game. And Matt Mitchell certainly early got the Aztecs going very effectively. He had eight points in the first half. He was able to score inside now. Kata also had an outstanding offensive first half. In fact, he scored half of the points. They got the ball to him inside. He blocked a couple of shots, but Kevin, he has no assists in the game, and assists are a key part of his basketball contribution. And Dan, as we take a look at the ultra organic seltzer first half stats, you see the turnover story. There were a bunch of them right there, but San Diego State, Dan, only scored two points on uh, those eight turnovers. So that was not uh, necessarily something they took advantage of. No, it wasn't, Kevin, but they only turned the ball over twice, and they only allowed Utah State to get three offensive rebounds. And this is a Utah State team that when they struggle on offense, they generally make up for it with offensive rebounds and forcing turnovers, and they have not been allowed to do that today. All right, the winner here, as we've said many times, will get the automatic berth into the NCAA tournament. And Gomez will inbound for the number one seed, San Diego State Aztecs, coming in at 22 and 4. Utah State, the Aggies at 20 and 7. They are the number two seed. Gomez on top, and away we go with the second half. The winner to the NCAAs. Shackle got it. That's the way Shackle started the game. He had five early points, despite some really good defense by Brock Miller. Now remember, San Diego State, number seven in the country in points allowed. Utah State is on a pace to only score 48 points. And Bean with a rebound by Mensa. He's got five rebounds. Utah State has got to get better scoring from the backcourt. The starting backcourt players scored among them a total of three points. One basket by Miller. Worcester hasn't scored a basket, and neither has Anthony after a great game in the semifinal. Anthony defending there. Mensa going up. Kata was right there. Foul on the defense. Maybe Kata as they're going up. And it was uh, Nathan Mensa with the inside play as they were swarming on him. I think it's Bean that got the foul. Kevin. You're right. Bean picked it up, Dan. Kata went to block the shot, and Mensa was all alone for the offensive rebound. And Bean, I don't think, had any choice but to foul. Drifting on the perimeter is Gomez. Mensa trying to switch that defense with a screen. Can't. Shot clock at five. Matt Mitchell inside. Mensa right there on the doorstep. Couldn't get it. Two shots right at the rim, neither fell, but another whistle and another foul. And I think this is on Anthony. It is who picks it up for the Aggies. Well, Kata, you can see he comes over and he tries to block the shot and Mensa is all alone. Kevin, you got to dunk that one. So at the free throw line, Nathan Mensa. Went to prep school in Nevada. Tuesday on CBS, and this is the biggest lead now for San Diego State. Tuesday on CBS from Dick Wolf, executive producer of Law & Order. This elite unit will bring all their intellect and technical expertise in order to try to keep New York safe. Their job, staying one step ahead. FBI, Tuesday 9, 8 Central on CBS. 8 is the biggest lead. Worcester the other way. The perimeter defense by San Diego State has just been outstanding. The guards for Utah State, they got nothing, nowhere to go. Nice deflection inside by Mensa. And a pass intended for Kata. Pulliam batters his way down low. Out of bounds it goes. Shot clock at 21 and plenty of time. Again, Kevin, the pressure on the ball is really outstanding, and 
that time Mitchell got in Wooster's way. Wooster, I think, was trying to stop and make a pass instead of a little hook pass there. Not very successful, but the ball pressure is something that Utah State has simply not adjusted to throughout this game. For San Diego State, their top four players are all seniors. Is it a, it's an older team, as is the team for the Aggies. They're an older team. They go inside and climbing the ladder with a hammer is Mensa. Beautiful feed two from the wing, and that came from Pulliam. Well, the offense for San Diego State is doing a great job forcing Mensa to move around, forcing Mensa to defend screens, forcing Mensa to come and help, and that has, or excuse me, forcing Katie to come and help, and that has allowed Mensa to get open. Utah State has not scored from the field in five minutes. Mister held it. Timeout taken. Utah State and their coach Craig Smith. They'll talk things over. Our clock at 17.43. They went up high, and he came down hard. Nathan Mensa, pretty play. The alley-oop was there. The lead is 10. The Mountain West Championship on CBS is presented by Army National Guard. The next greatest generation is now. 10-point lead by the top seed, San Diego State Aztecs. The winner going to the NCAAs as we now take a look at the fast analysis, Dan, presented by AT&T 5G. Kevin, we talked about the fact that San Diego State is doing a nice job moving Mensa, uh, moving Kata around, bringing him way outside to try to defend that ball screen, and that gives Pulliam a lane to the basket as the defense does not help. Well, it's been eight minutes and 47 seconds since anybody but Kata for the team in blue there, coached by the great Craig Smith, scored a field goal. Craig Smith, by the way, has the best winning percentage in the Missouri and the uh, Mountain West Conference in the history of the conference, including the tournament. They go inside Worcester, squeezes the trigger, and gets two right in tight. They needed that eight-point game. Uh, that's the first basket by any backcourt player other than Miller, and only the second basket by one of the guards for Utah State today. Pulliam is a senior. Miller is on him. He'll accelerate and drive and knock the way, call the goaltend. Kata was the one that blocked it. Two more there for Pulliam, who's got four in the contest. Now, one of the things that San Diego State decided they wanted to do at halftime is get Pulliam moving into the lane a little bit more. And you can see he just beat Miller out on the perimeter. Miller needs to lay off of Pulliam out on the perimeter. If Pulliam wants to shoot the three, let him go. But Pulliam drives the ball very effectively. Good observation. Kata here working on Mensa. Three minutes gone in the second half. Mensa with a little foul on the perimeter. Well, there he is reaching over the back again. Well, tomorrow the championship game of the Atlantic 10 will come your way. St. Bonaventure against VCU. They've also, in that tournament, have the top two seeds. The Bonnie's beaten St. Louis U to get in there. Worcester will probe. Kata on top. Out on the shot clock, and here they set. Brock Miller on top. Shackles got him. Trying to go in aggressively, they double him. Mensa with nice defense, and they threw it away. The defense right there forces the turnover. Well, Kata was looking for somebody to pass the ball to, but his teammates stood around. Screaming inside, Pulliam with a floater. The other way they'll go with Utah State. And the ball. We have talked an awful lot about Jordan Shackle and his ability to shoot the ball and with good cause, but he has been outstanding defensively against Brock Miller today. Yes. Brock Miller only has one field goal. And it's hard for this Utah State team to be effective on the offensive end if Miller is not going to score from three. Worcester over Gomez. Got it. Approaching four minutes gone. The shooting in the game, Utah State has gone 11 of 27. And San Diego State, 15 of 40 overall. Mitchell with the move and a spin, meets two, finds Mensa. Good feed, good finish. And again, drive the ball in, force Kata to commit, and then find Mensa open as the defense is a little bit slow to rotate. Bean, free to fire from three. That was a much needed triple and it's a seven point game. 
Boy, it sure was. And Bean is not an outstanding three-point shooter, but if you give him that much time, he can knock it down. That's only his tenth to three of the year. So each team right now for the game about 40% shooting. Gomez has the ball. Worcester is on him. Little heads right there by Kata. And he goes right back down low again. He's so fast on his feet. Shot clock at three. Mitchell, little pinch on Bean. The fake. Hit the rim. And they're going to check to see. It will definitely be a timeout. I think he got the shot away in time. You know that Shackle hit there, and then Worcester answered at the other end. The one and two seeds in the Mountain West Conference on CBS. Now a seven-point game in this championship game. The San Diego State defense has been great today. 38% is all they're allowing in 2 and 11 from three. Well, they've done a great job pressuring the ball. They haven't forced a lot of turnovers, only 10 so far. But they've done a great job blocking shots. Just nothing has come easy for Utah State. Anytime they get the ball in, there's some physical play. They just keep wrangling them up, and their steals show it, too. 6 nothing on steals for the... San Diego State Aztecs over the Aggies. I'd like to remind you that this year's teams in the tournament are using that shot tracker you see right there, that app on iPad Pro for real-time analytics. Shot tracker tracks the location of every player and ball. It delivers instant insight into uh, the coach's hands on the sideline. They make smart adjustments all during the course of the game live. You can download that same app right now at home. Like Brian Dutcher took over for Steve Fisher when Steve retired four years ago and Brian as you mentioned at the top of the show two consecutive years the conference coach of the year Kevin and that shot tracker we showed you there's an awful lot of red dots missed shots really close to the basket by Utah State once the ball gets in there San Diego State has done a great job forcing difficult shots Dean with the ball and now they get it out to Worcester. Single digits on shot clock. Also in the game now, Seiko. He'll stick right with Worcester. He's in a straight jacket and trying to get free and trying to tap it in. But can is Anthony as he went high and fouled while airborne. May have been on Pullian. Kevin, we talked about the fact that Utah State can get into offensive droughts and sometimes their best offense is the offensive rebound and that time Worcester forced into a very difficult shot but an offensive rebound one of only four so far today so at the free throw line Marco Anthony part of the all defensive team in the Mountain West and here is the Big Ten tournament with the championship game tomorrow on CBS big Buckeye win today over shorthanded Michigan Coming in now will be Alfonso Anderson. Kevin, that Michigan team has had an outstanding year, but I just don't know how successful they can be in the NCAA tournament without Isaiah Livers. Livers did it all, didn't he? Senior decided to stay. Look at Mitchell going coast to coast. Seiko outside. He'll tee up a three. Nice rebound inside. Claimed by Shackle. Well, I think if I'm Mitchell, I gotta shoot that ball. He didn't because he felt the presence of Kata. Seiko. Mitchell flying and got the ball, knocked away Kata, who just stuffed it right back, stifling defense. But a foul. It may have been on Kata, who is flying in, parachuting in off the wing. Kata picks it up. Kevin again. Utah State does not give up very many offensive rebounds, but Mitchell went flying in there. Kata trying to come from behind. But this is what we talked about with Mitchell. 6'6", 235 pounds. He can play just about anywhere on the court. So the Aztecs have eight regular season conference titles and two in a row that they bring in here. But the last time they were in the tournament was 2018. They haven't been to the NCAAs in a while. They've been five times overall. A win here would automatically get them in. So Utah State comes the other way down. They have scored in the last four trips down the floor. Six minutes gone in the second half. Eight-point game. Anderson, Worcester, shot clock at eight. Kata, a lunging catch. Tomajic is there with the D. He'll spin and lean and miss and get fouled. 
Kevin, that was a traveling violation. He did not get fouled. And this is exactly wow. what we're talking about with the San Diego State defense. Yes, they got it indicated, but they forced him into a very difficult shot. And even before he could get that shot off, he traveled. This is a nice job. Seiko comes down to help, and Kate is just, I mean, that's a really difficult shot, even if he doesn't walk. What defense by San Diego State. The rankings tell you they're one of the best in the country. They're showing it here in the championship game. Mitchell inside, tries to pry his way in, kicks it out. Seiko, three, no. Rebound, Worcester. And a whistle. Utah State is going to pick up that one. I think that's Kata. It is, and it's his second foul. Kata, their leading scorer, their leading rebounder, leading shot blocker. Once again, Shackles had no one on him but Miller today. Tomajic. He'll try to spin. He carves his way for two. Beautiful move by Tomajic. Really smart play by Tomajic. Kata just picked up a foul. You know he doesn't want to pick up another one quickly. And so Tomajic goes right after him. Now some of this unrelenting defense for San Diego State with seven minutes gone in the half. Ten-point game. This equals the biggest Aztec lead. Kata down low. Into a thicket. Look at all those white jerseys around him. He missed the first. And the second will ramble in. Kevin, the amazing thing about this is San Diego State runs the court very wow. quickly. Butler blew a tire. Worcester was right there and a turnover. Tomajic, again, Kata has just picked up a foul, and Tomajic just uses that long frame of his nice little left hand right there. Keyshaw Johnson will check in for San Diego State. Shackle will check out. San Diego State has done a really nice job rotating Mensa and Tamayic in, and they have battled Kata all game long. Kata had 12 points at halftime. He only has two here so far in the second half, but he still doesn't have an assist in the game. Mm. They have done a nice job they cutting sure off have. that part of the Utah State offense. Good notice. Kata inside. They're surrounded and bumped and fouled. Like a 12 27. Kevin, not only are they surrounding him, but they are surrounding him so quickly and so aggressively that Kata, who sees the court very well, has not had a chance to look around and find open teammates. Tomajic picks up his third personal foul for San Diego State. Kata again. Different guys on him, taking different angles. Now back to Tomajic one on one. Kata. Worcester three. Oh, nice rebound inside by Anthony. He finds a lot of size in front of him. Anderson's open. Finds with a miss. Bean is there, and Tomajic inhales the rebound for the Aztecs. Well, the positive sign there was the number of offensive rebounds that Utah State was able to secure. They've been hard to come by today. Rebounding is even at 25. We told you back in the first half, Utah State has out-rebounded every opponent this year. They're familiar with each other. Fourth foul goes on to Mayich. Two teams at the very top of the Mountain West Conference. The championship game in Vegas today on CBS. Well, defense uh, has certainly been rewarding for San Diego State today. They forced 11 turnovers. You see the six steals, and they have put great pressure on the basketball. In addition, they blocked four shots. That it just everything has been difficult for Utah State. And we said earlier that Utah State is a good but not a great offensive team. And when they have to work so hard for everything, it just makes it very difficult. One area, Dan, where Utah State has always flourished, especially this year, has been second chance points. In fact, they almost have a two to one advantage this season in second chance points. But today in the championship game, they're minus three, 10-7, they're down in second chance points. Kevin, on the season, they have, coming into this game, 136 more offensive rebounds than their opponents. But today, San Diego State has 10 offensive rebounds to their seven. That's right inside, and uh, getting through, threading his way, Anthony gets the deuce. That's his first basket, but Kevin, that's only his fourth shot attempt. Hmm. Outside now, Butler, off to Seiko. And back to the player of the year in the conference, Mitchell. With a fake on Bean who sticks with him defensively. He'll do it again. 
This time he goes up high. Again the defense there. Again the drive by Butler. Right into Bean. Picked up inside and put up Johnson. What a play by the sophomore from Oakland, California. And there's another offensive rebound. They just kept going after it. Keyshaw Johnson. 6-7. Watch this again. Well, he drives the ball to the basket, throws it off the side of the board, but Johnson just comes. Nobody blocks him out. Good. I like that. Johnson just comes from the corner, and that's Alfonso Anderson in the corner that just pays no attention to Johnson. you got to turn around and block him out. I think he was surprised that that was such a bad miss. You have two winning teams here, three consecutive 20-plus win seasons for Utah State. At least 21 wins, four consecutive years for San Diego State. Poked away, Gomez did it, the other way comes Butler, and he'll sail in for two with great transition, and the steal makes it now a 46-36 10-point lead again for the Aztecs. Again, we've seen it many times that Utah State just not very strong with the basketball. And now, the Aggies got very fortunate that time because uh, they did a nice job getting the ball inside. But here's the last play, the tip away. And Anthony, Anthony just lets the ball be slapped right out of his hands. And on the next play, he throws the ball inside. Kata gets the foul. But Anthony stood and watched after he threw it inside. You got to cut and give Kata somewhere to throw the ball. Kata's up top. Benzel right there to get him. And now they go to Anderson. He'll work on Johnson. The series of moves and bumps and grinds and got it to go. Anderson gets the two and the foul called on Johnson. Kevin, obviously Utah State needs baskets any way they can get them, but this is strictly a one-on-one -on -one play. This isn't the way Utah State normally plays. They get great movement. Everybody touches the ball. They have a lot of assists. Brock Miller has only taken two shots in the game. San Diego State has totally closed him out, and they have made Kada and Anderson and Bean like one-on-one -on -one players on the inside. 14 for Kada, the only player in double figures for Utah State. Mitchell's got 10, only player in double figures for the Aztecs. Seven-point game and approaching the halfway portion of the second half. It's Butler. Played at Reggie Miller's old school. Inside, Johnson triple teamed up in a straight jacket. He's finally able to get the shot away, but fouled. And Worcester, I think, yes, is the one they assess. They do. Number two, Dan, on him. Well, that, that just gives you a perfect example of the way San Diego State has played in this game. Johnson was inside. He was surrounded, but he, that, that, he was undeterred. Uh, he went to the basket and drew the foul. Perfect 7-7 free throw shooting this afternoon for San Diego State. Some of America's toughest men and women are competing in real-world challenges. Their strength, their endurance, and coolness under pressure will prove who is the toughest. Phil Kogan hosts a new Tough as Nails Wednesday at 8, 7 Central on CBS. That could be a theme for the upcoming tournament. <laughs> well, particularly, it could be a theme for this entire season. Yeah. Teams have really had to deal with an awful lot well of these, these players have done a magnificent job getting to this point they've had to be tough to do it anderson and now anthony and johnson's on him it's miller over gomez in decada covered by mensa shot clock at five worcester cutting he'll spin inside and over butler he launches Kata gets the offensive rebound. Worcester, free to fire, fakes, drives, feeds, whistle, and a foul. Wow. More defense. My Kevin, goodness. Kevin, that all started when Kata, two feet from the basket, elected to pass the ball. And Worcester, he drives in, and Worcester drives the ball pretty well. But this is just a great job by Shackle. Shackle has done a great job defending Miller the entire game. That time he's just waiting for Worcester. You can see that coming. But Kata, Kata had the ball two feet from the basket, he and he, pa he passed it to Worcester. Worcester just picked up his third personal foul for the Yankees. The 20 and 7. Aztecs 22 and 4. Shackle driving, step back, 16 footer, no. Rebound, Kata. Another rebound. He had six of them. The Aztecs have also given up nothing in transition. Kata inside, met by Mensa, trying to go up, knocked away, beautiful rejection by Johnson. 
That'll trigger this right here. Gomez the other way. He'll fly. He'll cut. He'll fire. He'll bury the shot from 20. Boy, talk about defense to offense. That is a great job by Johnson. Kata took too long on the inside. You got to get the ball and make a move. You dribble it three or four times, you're going to be surrounded, and that's what happened to him. And dangerous part of the game now for Utah State. Well, they desperately need to get something going offensively. Kata knocking bodies over. Mensa, one of them. That's a flop. Is that that's, a, that's, that's the second, second that's one. A technical foul. Yep, this is something that college basketball is embracing. A technical with the second call on Mensa. What do you think on this call? Well, Mensa started falling down yeah, before, before, he was was even any, <laughs> before there was any contact. I think that's the classic definition of a flop he right there. He may not have been a member of Mensa with that move right there. Uh, here at the free throw line is, is Brock Miller. He's been a part of three different coaching staffs with this Utah State team. Went on his mission, came back. Now, Kevin, that's that's a technical foul, but it doesn't count toward anybody's foul total. And it is a Class B technical foul, which means it's only one free throw. But that, that Mensa, Mensa got, he's the guy who got the warning, and then he's the guy who got the technical because he tried it again. Kate is going to take a breather. Relied a lot on him with his six rebounds, 16 points, three blocks. A rope is in now with the ball is Pulliam. With a whistle and a foul away from the ball. And I believe Marco Anthony, the UVA transfer, is guilty. He is number two. Well, he got he got mismatched against a rope on the inside and Anthony's not a little guy. He's six feet five 225 pounds but a rope a Couple of inches taller A guac a rope from Omaha, Nebraska where he was the Nebraska high school player of the year born in Sudan played at South High School in Omaha Eight-point lead for San Diego State, approaching eight to play. Anthony, here's Bean. His dad played at Idaho State. Anthony, free to fire with a three. Rebound by Mitchell, collision underneath. The rope was involved in a foul called on the Aztecs. Uh, Bean is a tremendous rebounder, a great offensive rebounder. He got fouled. San Diego State has not been to the NCAA tournament since 2018. But plays like this, diving inside, the defense leading to offense. Back in Las Vegas, and Dan, we began this afternoon talking about San Diego State with 13 consecutive wins, clearly on a roll, and Utah State coming into today on the bubble. But Jerry Palm, as of now, has said that even if Utah State would lose, they could be the last team in. Kevin, I, I think that the last team in is a very shaky proposition, and Utah State would prefer that they not be in that situation. Kevin, you saw the numbers up there, and you think based on those numbers that Utah State would be down by more than eight. But they've done a nice job hanging in the game. We've been talking about San Diego State's defense. Well, Utah State's defense has been fairly stout as well. They just have to figure out a way to get their offense rolling a little bit, particularly it would help them if Brock Miller could find some openings. So here is Justin Bean, who began as a walk-on. He was awarded a scholarship. He grew up in Moore, Oklahoma. Went to Southmore High School. We mentioned his dad played at Idaho State. And that number 34 that Justin wears is the same number his dad now this kid, we said he's an outstanding rebounder. He's a really hard worker. He's one of those nose for the ball kind of guys. And, and Kevin, you know, if you weren't watching the scoreboard, you'd think the lead was more than six. So Utah State, they have not played their best basketball, but they, ha they have themselves in a position here. They can get some stops and make a couple of baskets. A rope to Mitchell, and Mitchell was shoved from behind, and a foul. Was it on Brock Miller, perhaps? I believe it was. Miller will pick up the foul. That is the first on him, and Mitchell will be at the free throw line. Dan, Matt Mitchell is one of 16 players in all of college basketball to average 15 points, five rebounds, and two assists a game. One of the reasons why he was voted the 
player of the year in the Mountain West. Well, he is a guy that gets to the free throw line a lot, Kevin, based on the way he plays. He attacks the basket. He scores effectively inside. And he is an excellent free throw shooter coming into the game at 81% from the free throw line. So that's the kind of guy. Mm -hmm. You want one of your best free throw shooters to go to the line a lot. And Mitchell, one of three 1,000-point scores on the floor for San Diego State in this game this afternoon. Wister again, who handles the ball a lot. Bean trying to set a screen. A rope fighting through it out there. Seven and a half to go. And Worcester. Got it. Nice shot right there. Raleigh Worcester has got six. That's a big basket by Worcester. But again, nice defensive job by San Diego State. That time they made Utah State a one-on-one -on -one team for that offensive possession. The pace has slowed as the second half has gone on. Maybe by design. Maybe they're just tightening the screws a little bit. Seiko down low. A rope! Nice play. Comes up one side and dances to the other. Glancing by the D and got it to go. That's just a good quick move. Lister again into a rope. Lost the ball. More defense. Another turnover. It's interesting watching the way San Diego State is defending Brock Miller in situations where a guy would normally help off of Miller. They're just staying right with him. They're not giving Miller any room at all. Well, the pace is really slow. Do you wonder maybe if they're a little tired? Mitchell will drive and slash and score. Nothing tired about that move. <laughs> and if the pace is get, getting slower, and you have a closer like Mitchell, then that's to the advantage of San Diego State. Oh, a sliver of room and driving through was Anthony and bumped as he was going to the iron. Yes, 6 12 to play here in the second half. Butler will pick up the foul. It is the third on him, and Anthony will be at the line. It was Butler. I, I told you before, he we went to Riverside Poly High School. And he passed Reggie Miller in the point total there. So here are teams that are still alive in the conference tournaments that they're in, like Georgetown will play in the Big East Championship against Creighton. And Oregon State has a chance to get the automatic bid. Yep. You know, and the thing about it is, if they win the conference tournaments, then the team that, like Georgetown is playing Creighton, Creighton's going. So if Georgetown wins, that's a bid gone. And if Jerry Palm is right in Utah State, if they lose, they're the last team in. That means their bid is gone. San Diego State is led by as many as 11. Floater inside. Got it to go. Pulliam with a gentle touch. And it flutters through. Back to a 10-point lead. Tata back in. He's got it up top. Mensa back in to guard him. Miller. We're just nothing doing for Miller. I know it. I know it. Here comes Kata. They quickly blitz him inside. Off balance. Shove Anthony. Took it as he fell. And a foul call. And it was on Mensa. Kevin, you see they attack Kata. And Kata is a very willing passer. But Anthony took the ball a little too far into the lane. Anthony needed to stop about three or four feet out. So that way when he caught the ball, he wasn't surrounded. And he could have gotten off a jump shot. But Kato wants to pass when he gets it in there. His teammates just haven't helped him out very much today. Last night, his line, Kato's line against Colorado State. I mean, you just you had to kind of just rub your eyes and say 18 points. Kato had 14 rebounds. And the one that really was eye-opening, nine blocks. Nine blocks. <laughs> That's more than teams have in a couple of games. He had it one game, one guy. Five and a half to go. Eight-point game. Right, Utah State trying to apply a little pressure, Kevin, because you're right, San Diego State has slowed the pace. They're running a lot of time off the clock, and you can do that when you have guys who can score at the end of the shot clock. Switch on defense. Miller now on Pulliam to go inside the high-flying Mensa. Outside, Mitchell tees one up from three. Missing inside. Good rebound by the aggressive Worcester. Plenty of time. Here comes Utah State, the two seed. They've been to two straight NCAA tournaments. They go inside. Nice catch by Kata. That was great defense on the ball. Kata was wide open, but Worcester couldn't see him. Look at him try to uh, carve his way and then spin his way and then watch it drop with a nice move inside. Dodging the defense. 
He is an arresting talent, isn't he? The way he scores. Boy, he sure is, Oof. Kevin. And we've got a six-point game again. Again, Shackle, and they switch on D. Four and a half to go. Into Mensa from Pulliam. That was easy with a nice drop. San Diego State comes the other way. They have picked up now a little bit more. They've made seven of their last nine shots. Well, Mensa has had an outstanding game. He's got ten points to go along with eight rebounds. Once again, they double Kata. Cross court. Bean outside Miller. Shot clock at six. Saved by Bean. Another turnover with good defense and Seiko the other way. I don't think Kata was throwing it to Bean. I think Bean mm. intercepted that pass. Kata was trying to throw it to the corner for an open three. I think that was Worcester out there. 15 turnovers. Need Pulling. to stop here. Let's see if they get it. Spoon feeding Mensa. And a foul. And you talked about the penetration of Pulliam early in this half. That's been a part of the San Diego State Aztec attack. Leading by eight, they've been up by 11. The winner goes to the NCAA tournament. Selection Sunday, 24 hours away on CBS. Place in and around Indianapolis. Indiana you take a look at our reset right there Dan nine to nothing in the steel category San Diego State has shown defense now listen with those steals they've also taken 14 more shots in the game well Kevin they the, the turnover margin is 10 15 turnovers by Utah State only five by San Diego State and again San Diego State has gotten 11 offensive rebounds to nine for Utah State so that's 12 extra possessions and those are areas where normally Utah State excels but they still have a chance here they do eight point game three and a half to go this is a important part certainly for this game with the winner going on to the NCAA tournament beginning Friday it's Miller off balance with the long three. Inside trying for it was Anthony battling Mensa. They were colliding and jousting, and it's a tie up inside. It'll be the ball going to the Aggies. Well, this gives you an idea of the difficulty Miller has had today. That's a great job by Bean just sticking his nose in there. We said he had a nose for the ball. Sometimes you break your nose, you yeah. stick it in there. Kata in there. Three, Miller, no. Rebound inside by Pulliam with a foul called on San Diego State. I think it's on Pulliam trying to fight off Bean on the inside. He's in a tough position. No, they're going to give it on Mitchell. Okay. Mitchell will pick it up, Dan. And at the free throw line is Justin Bean. What a great job by Kata to yes. tip that what ball. He was about to lose the ball, and he tipped it to their best three-point shooter, who unfortunately didn't make it. Here's Bean today, his 84th straight game played and his 62nd consecutive start. Here is a kid who came, as we mentioned before, as a walk-on off of a high school career where he blew his ACL as a junior, had a tumor removed from his ear, and he's got only 50% uh, hearing in one of his ears because of that surgery. But he's worked through all that adversity. He's played for this Utah, Utah State program and done a terrific job. Now they're down by just six, approaching three to play, being a very important part of this 20 and seven team. The Aggies working against the Aztecs defensively, trying to tighten their defensive screws. Pulliam inside, errant pass, wayward pass, and picked up by Anthony, and Bean the other way. Oh, nice quick hands there by Pulliam. He'll glide inside and find the two with the steal and the deuce. Boy, Kevin, that Ooh. was they had the ball down six, and that's the first time they've been able to cut into that six-point lead. They've been able to get it to six. Just a bad turnover that time. Two and a half to go. I think Bean was expecting Anthony to step to the pass, and Anthony didn't. Miller, three. It's off with a Mitchell rebound and a foul on the Aztecs inside on that board. Well, I think it's Mitchell trying to fight off Bean mm. again. That's just a great play by Pulliam. Bean telegraphed that pass, and Pulliam, he wasn't even looking at his man. He was just watching Bean 
and he steals the ball. That is a great defensive play. Not a good defensive play, but a great one. Pulliam picks up his third. Bean is back at the line. We haven't talked about the Aggie defense today, and they've not played one of their better games, but they're 22nd in points allowed, Utah State is, in points allowed in all of college basketball. And both these teams rode their defense to get to this championship game for a third consecutive year against each other. Well, I think it was a good defensive effort so far by Utah State. It's just it, Utah, excuse me, San Diego State has been able to grind it out on the offensive end. Pulliam pulls up and floats one through. 64-55, San Diego State has led most of the way by as many as 11. Third consecutive year, these two teams, the top two seeds in the Mountain West, have met in the championship game with the winner going on to the NCAA tournament. The Virginia transfer, Anthony, inside. A lot of congestion. The ball was on the rim. But it was touched, and there was no call. And looks like Mensa now favoring that left knee. And Pulliam taking his time, getting across midcourt. Surrounded, accelerates, and gets out of harm's way. Pulliam is really steady with the basket. He is, isn't he? He really is a steady player. A senior. Played some junior college basketball in Corsicana, Texas at Navarro College. Heady player. Shot clock at three. Miller is on it. Pulliam will dance and spin. They lost track of the shot clock and the violation there. By right, Kevin, that's not the worst thing in the world to happen. They're up by nine points. They ran 30 seconds off the shot clock. Utah State, they have struggled to make threes all game long. They're only three for 11. And if you're going to come back from nine points down with only a minute and 13 seconds left, you're going to have to make a couple of threes. Here they come with Worcester. Driving right through Knights' way for two. But now you got to get on him. Seven point game, full court pressure. Trying to find a sliver of hope here, and they get it off to Mitchell. He's doubled, and to Seiko at midcourt, and they break it there and met by the defense of Miller. Uh, Kevin, it's, I think it's a little too late in this possession to foul, but. I think I would have fouled. Here comes Mitchell into Bean. That's an offensive foul. It is indeed, Dan. Yeah, but Kevin, they ran 27 seconds off the shot clock. Second time they've done that. Again, Mitchell's a guy who's a closer. That time he just, Bean does a great job moving his feet, and Mitchell throws the arm out there. But Kevin, I don't think they have enough time. 32 seconds to go. You got to go. Yeah. Seven point game. Anthony is picked up defensively by Seiko. Miller, three. No, missed it all. And out of bounds and last touch by the Aggies and Worcester. 21 seconds left. 20.7. Well, Miller, Miller just has not had any room all day. And we said early in the game that the Utah State offense was much, much better when Miller was making threes. Well, they prevented Miller from even taking threes, much less making it. He will pick up the foul. Stopping the clock at 14.1. That sideline of San Diego State can sense it. They're the 19th ranked team in college basketball. They've been in the top 25 for four straight weeks. And they have a chance right now to possibly put this one out of reach. Seiko is at the line with his first one going down. And as we said moments ago, Jerry Palm, who watches the brackets as close as anyone at CBS Sports, says as of now, even if Utah State would lose, they would be the last team in as of now. There are a lot of other games coming up, conference championship games. Long three, Worcester, no, tipped up, no, picked up inside, Shackles got it, fouled on the play, under six seconds to go. Brian Dutcher at the free throw, free throw line, Jordan Shackle. Came a thousand point score the other night. With his 15 points against Nevada in the semifinals. 
And what did Brian Dutcher tell us yesterday? It's easier to coach when you have 1,000-point scores. Yeah, they got three of them. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes Utah State in the final seconds of the championship game. Floats it up and off, and San Diego State is going to the NCAA tournament for the first time since 2018. They're conference champions in the regular season. Mountain West tournament champions winning it here over the Utah State Aggies. Kevin, a dominant defensive performance against a team that was playing, feeling like they had to win. Just an outstanding effort. Sixth tournament championship, first since 2018. And for San Diego State, they are red hot. 14th consecutive win. And this one they will remember. Now for Gene Steratore and Dan Bonner, Kevin Harlan saying so long from Las Vegas, Nevada. Tonight on CBS, Bob Hart's Abishola. Then the Unicorn. And then 248 hours. This has been a presentation of CBS Sports. The Mountain West Conference champions in the tournament, San Diego State.